Web developers use the web to connect people to products and services that help them learn, communicate, and make their lives easier. And they do this by using a variety of different languages and technologies. Web development is a great skill set for beginners taking their first foray into tech, especially those looking for the more creative side of coding. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm a software developer. I'm coming to you from the lands of the Paramank people where sovereignty was never ceded. And I'm going to talk about web development as a skill set to learn. When choosing a coding skill set to learn and master, there are a number of things to consider, like how well does it suit your personality and your ambitions? How easy or difficult is it to learn? What are your career prospects and what can you actually create? We're going to talk about all of these and help you decide whether web development is for you. So who should study web development? Web development is ideal for anyone who's interested in how humans interact with information. To talk about web development, let's first quickly talk about the web. Originally called the World Wide Web, the web is a service that operates over the internet and links together media and documents and data and makes them accessible to people via a web browser. Originally developed in 1990 to assist scientists in sharing information, the web was created openly as a collaboration between many different organizations. The result is that no single company gets to own or control the web, making it a freely available public resource. This is appealing to people who believe in the original vision of the web as a decentralized democratic network of information. The web is something that most of us use every day, so it's an exciting area for anybody who wants to work in a field that is changing the ways that we communicate and connect. It's also an inherently visual medium, and over the years it's become a haven for designers, artists, and animators. The graphical nature of the web makes it great for visual thinkers who want to express themselves digitally and display their work globally. Web development has come a long way in the past few decades. 20 years ago, web developers were much more limited in what they could do. A web page in the 1990s was not much more than text with images and links. These days, the web is a lot more complicated in what it can do. It can do things like connect us to payroll and let us share photos in an instant. Web developers must stay on top of evolving technologies and continue to update their skills with various languages, frameworks, and libraries. With this in mind, a successful web developer will be someone who identifies as a lifelong learner and is always up for the challenge of learning the newest thing. So what is it like to learn web development? Web developers can work with a multitude of technologies to create web pages, websites, and applications. If you've already been learning or researching web development a little bit already, you might have heard of frameworks and libraries like React, Rails, Node, Django, but don't get too far ahead of yourself if you're just starting out. First, you'll need to learn and master the three core technologies of the web, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The original language of the web is HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext refers to the links that connect web pages together, and these links are the most fundamental aspect of the web. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's a styling language that's used to describe how a web page looks and feels. With HTML and CSS, you can create your first web page in a matter of minutes which makes it a very rewarding and validating learning experience for beginners. HTML and CSS are not actually programming languages, so they're great for anybody who's feeling a little bit intimidated by learning to code because you don't need to worry too much about complex programming logic. HTML is a markup language which is used to annotate a document full of content, and CSS is a style sheet language which uses rules to describe fonts, images, and layout of a document. The third core language of the web is JavaScript, which is the original programming language of the web. JavaScript adds interactivity to web pages. It's what turns websites from networks of information and links to fully formed applications in the browser. 
As far as programming languages go, the barrier to entry with JavaScript is fairly low. JavaScript won't complain if you leave off a semicolon and you don't need to be as neat as you do in some languages like Python. The trade-off here is that it can lead to some bad habits with messy code that would be problematic in other languages like C Sharp, for example. So it might not be the best choice of languages for the perfectionists among us, but it's ideal for those of us who like to tinker and don't mind creating a little bit of chaos in the process. You might be wondering what it's like to learn three languages at the same time, and this is definitely something to consider. And you'll probably need to be patient with yourself and put in the time and practice to learn the specifics of each language. However, you'll usually learn HTML and CSS before you move on to programming in JavaScript. And these languages work really well as an ecosystem, so you can switch between them without losing context. What are your career prospects as a web developer? Our world is increasingly driven by consumer technology that people access via the web. Think online banking, ride sharing, government services, healthcare, and more and more industries are pivoting to online delivery. Think remote education, entertainment, and online shopping. So with this in mind, web developers are now more in demand than ever. As well as being an in-demand skill set, web development also gives you good flexibility in how you work. Web dev works really well as a remote profession, which opens you up to be able to work for companies all over the world, no matter where you live. There are a huge variety of roles available for web developers across almost any industry you can think of. See for yourself, go to your favorite job search engine and type in web developer and see how many jobs and different kinds of roles come up, as well as the different companies and industries that are hiring web developers. In general, there are three specializations you can follow, front end, back end, and full stack. Don't feel nervous about picking one of these when you first start out, because as your skills grow, you'll likely discover which specialization suits you best. A front-end developer is concerned with how people interact with technology, and they'll typically work with the look and the experience of a web page. A back-end developer is concerned with the logic and the data that goes back and forth between the front-end and the store of data. And a full-stack developer can do both and more. And if you don't necessarily want to be a developer or a coder in the long term, Web development skills are still great for your resume and they'll make you a better collaborator on tech teams. It's ideal for product managers and graphic designers who'll be working closely with developers and for digital marketers and business administrators who need to update website content and work with third-party platforms like email marketing. Every business needs a web presence and more and more companies are looking to hire people who have relevant digital skills across every department. So what can you build as a web developer? The beauty of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is that you can create almost anything that you can think of inside of a web browser and share it with anyone who has access to the web, which is nearly 60% of the global population. The applications for web development skills are many, so here are just some examples of what you can do. Virtual shopfronts and online stores. Every business, organization, and group needs a website, even if it's just a static site with basic information about who they are and what they do. Many businesses as well are using their websites for direct sales channels, setting up e-commerce stores to sell their digital or physical goods. Digital marketing. Digital marketers love the web's ability to reach users in a variety of different ways. With web development skills, you can do things like create landing pages, email capture forms, and install tracking codes so services like Google Analytics can collect data. Publishing. Storytellers, bloggers, journalists, home cooks, and all sorts of people use the web to share their news, their ideas, and their craft via content managed sites. Often they're working with platforms like Squarespace or WordPress, and sometimes with custom content managed sites built from scratch. 
This also extends to traditional news media publishing and academic publishing on the web. Online service delivery. With modern web development, we can take services that have typically existed in the real world and make them digital. Modern JavaScript is used to build many complex web applications that a lot of us use every day, like Google Maps, email, online banking, and accessing our healthcare and insurance. Mobile applications. JavaScript is highly extensible, and there are a lot of different libraries and frameworks and tools you can use to supercharge JavaScript without having to write a bunch of code yourself. One example of this is the React Native framework for JavaScript, which allows developers to use their HTML, CSS, and JavaScript skills to create native mobile applications. Online experiences. The web is great for people who love to bring together art, design, logic, geometry, and creativity. With a solid grasp of the three core languages, you can create amazing things like graphics, animations, games, data visualizations, and interactive experiences like virtual tours. In summary, there are many great reasons to choose web development as a skill set to learn and master. Web development gives you the power to publish anything online and share it with people all over the world. To be a web developer, you need an understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, no matter what specialization you want to go into or what framework or technologies you want to work with in the long run. HTML and CSS are not programming languages, so they're great for anyone who feels a bit intimidated by the idea of learning to code. And JavaScript is a forgiving programming language, great for anybody who wants to learn programming, but worried that coding isn't very creative. Web development skills can lead to a flexible career in a variety of industries. And what you can build in a web browser is really limited only to your imagination. Like with learning any new skill, like learning a new cooking technique or learning how to draw, you don't need any predisposition or proclivities to be a coder, but you do need a dedication to learning and practice and to spend time building up your skills and your portfolio. If you think web development is for you, check out our online course, Foundations of Web Development on the School of Code. This course will set you up with the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You'll be able to create your very first website, have the confidence to go into further specializations, and maybe even get one step closer to landing an internship in the tech industry. Thanks so much for watching. If you've got any questions about web development, please let us know. And we'll see you next time. Bye.